Breaking news here on The Day Trader. Bitcoin, we've just learned some very valuable information. On the phone today, I have Ali Tisro, who's just enlightened us with something we had no idea about. In fact, we ran a Bitcoin poll live in the show. We asked our members, did they even know the answer to this question? And 66% didn't know. What is the question? Well, we've now got Ali Tisro live on the phone. It's going to give you some information about Bitcoin and what it really means. I just asked Ali, surely Michael Saylor should know about BSV because it's a fork, right? There's Bitcoin Cash, there's BSV, and there's Bitcoin. Forget the thousands of others. Shouldn't he know about BSV? It's a fork of BTC. That's a fact. And this was his answer. Some of you didn't hear it, so I've unmuted him. I apologize. Ali, tell me what you just said then, because that's a game changer. I'm just saying that there's there's lots of different forks. There's there's Bitcoin Diamond, there's Bitcore, there's 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 five, ten, twenty different there's Bitcoin Cash, there's Bitcoin Gold, there's Bitcoin Atom, there's Bitcoin Zero, they're all different forks. So it, it, to say that it should be on his radar right. doesn't really make sense. It's, no. it's a tiny, it's under a billion dollar valuation. It's There's so many other forks as well. So okay. it could be honest, he could have had a conversation about it, but he's laser focused on the actual Bitcoin that has stayed around. That's the first crypto creator that's... That's the number one spot. So I don't think with the logic of saying that it's a fork means that it should be on his radar. There's been okay. so many different forks over the years. Well, first of all, that's opened my eyes. I have to be honest. I had no idea that there were so many others. Did anybody else know there were so many others? I'm going to ask that question. I'm going to poll that because that's that's really important. So let me just end the, have you ever woke up during <laughs> Uh, up and looked at crypto, 66%. Uh, Ali, were you one of those people that woke up middle of the night? <laughs> yeah, last year, especially during the... I was trading a lot and obviously markets were crazy. So yeah, I was waking up in the middle of that. It wasn't like now I wake up and look at the prices. I don't think that's too big of an issue. But back then I was waking up in the middle of the night dreaming about Bitcoin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, tell me about it. So we've just we just created a poll. Did you know there were so many bitcoins? Yes or no? Honestly, guys, tell me the truth. You know about BSV, you know about Bitcoin, you probably know about Bitcoin Cash. But honestly, did you know there's a whole list of bitcoin? I don't know how many. How many do you think there are? How many how many forks do you think there are, um, Ali? I think probably the 40, 40. 40, yeah. we're just guessing there, but a, a good number. All right, so yeah. I, I've put it in the poll. And I want to see if anybody realised that, because I didn't. I tell you what, I had no idea there were so many. So, Ali, what what is a fork then? And, and also, I'll, I want two things from you. What is a fork of Bitcoin? And two, the people that are behind BSV say... BSV is the original Bitcoin because it follows the white paper. But I want to know what I, what I want to know is, and maybe I'm asking the wrong question because I'm not a crypto expert, right? Obviously, everyone's guessed that. When Bitcoin was created, invented, created, coded, whatever you want to call it, when it first came out on its on the first computer, when someone wrote the code, what was coded and invented first? BTC or BSV? What was what was created first? Do we have do we have proof and evidence of what was created first? So could you answer that? Yeah, me? it was BTC. BTC was created first, and BSV was a fork of BTC. What basically happens during a fork is the the chain splits. One, the fork is uh, is. I don't know how to explain it. It's like it heads off in a new direction. That's that's a, a new codes added. It's a new step forward, but the original BTC stays in place. So BTC, all the other ones are forks of BTC, and BTC is the the first ever created. So if if BTC was the first ever created, and BSV was then a fork of BSV, how can BSV be the original Bitcoin if it came off the original? And can we prove that BTC was the first? Is there any evidence to, to say? Because BSV says, Michael, uh, Craig Wright says, I invented, Bit I invented Bitcoin and this is the original. 
How can we prove that BTC came out first? Is there any way to just prove that to anybody? I'm probably not the right person to ask, but I'm sure if you go back in the code, you go back and read uh, what the developers were saying in the day, back in the 2013 era, I think there'll be a... I think it's it'll be quite obvious to see that Bitcoin was the first Bitcoin, well, the, the original Bitcoin, and BSV is just... just uh, just a fork of it. Um, all I was calling in to say was through the logic you were saying is that Michael Saylor should have should have all these other forks on his radar, but I don't think he does. He might, but there's no need for him to do. He's laser focused on Bitcoin. He doesn't care about the forks. He doesn't care about any other alts. That at the end of the day, these Bitcoin forks are all now turned into altcoins. They yeah. they can be securities. They can be this. They can be that. So you just need to focus on the right projects. I mean. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way you can find out what's the first yeah. Bitcoin, but it's I think we should, though, shouldn't we? I mean, isn't that the biggest? Yeah, I mean, I can look into it. Isn't that yeah, the biggest debate, it, the biggest argument in crypto history ever? Um, and shouldn't we know the answer to that? That's that's the sort of thing that just scares me. The fact you are so pro Bitcoin, and and and, and I appreciate your honesty. You know, it's it, we that's what we want. But the fact you don't know that, or I don't know it, or anybody else knows that, surely we should know that because surely that would bury the BSV argument. And I agree what you're saying, though. I didn't know there were so many. And you're absolutely right. If there are, you know, 40 or more, perhaps, um, forks of BTC, why would Michael Saylor know? I didn't realise that. I thought there was there was two, and I thought that was it. Obviously, that was not correct. So I understand why. why. But he must believe then, he must believe that BTC is the original and is the is the main is the is the you know where it all began and so on and so forth. Um, some might, some people might argue. Well, why is that important? Is the very first car the one that everyone should buy? You know, should we all own a Model T Ford because it was the first car? I don't know what the first car was, but does that make it the one we should buy because it was the first one? People say that Tesla won't be around forever because the first electric car won't be the one that's in the future. That somebody will come out and do it better. But uh, what's your thought on that? Yeah, but it, it, it's quite a, a, a broad question you've asked. There's a there's a lot of elements that go into it. Yes, Bitcoin is, as in, uh, maybe I wasn't clear, but Bitcoin is the first created bit, uh, cryptocurrency, is the first cryptocurrency ever invented. And everything from BTC is uh, any other BSV or Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Gold or Bitcoin Diamond. They're all forks that came off the original BTC. BTC is the only is Bitcoin. It's the first one created. That is clear. That that is known. Um, and uh, and it looks like sixty percent of the poll. The question was. Did you know there were so many Bitcoins? And 60% said no. So you've educated uh, 12 out of the 20 people here this morning. Telling uh, 12 out of 20 did not know. That's quite a significant yeah, number. I've just seen Azamaki's, I've just seen Azamaki's comment. He, there are 105 Bitcoin projects in total, and only 74 of them are active now. So these, these forks are going to die off. They might stay around, but... They're not the real Bitcoin, and that's why Michael Saylor doesn't care about them. It's not the first one created. It's not. Wow. It's not these these forks created. It's the real Bitcoin, and that's why I think it won't be on his radar. Or even if it is, he doesn't care about it. Um. Yeah, Mike just asked. Uh, well, crypto is a software; it can be hacked, right? Crypto itself, if you if it's on an exchange, well, this is just an important information for everyone. If you don't mind me sharing it. No, please do. If, if your crypto is on an exchange, if it's on your phone, if it's on your laptop, then yes, it can be hacked. Someone can, you can click on a bad website, they can install malware on it, they can come take crypto. But if you buy yourself a hard, cold wallet, which like is something ledger. like a ledger I've or... I've got one. Yeah, if you put your crypto in there, you have to have that device on you to confirm whatever the, someone, whatever transaction you're trying to do. It's now in cold storage no it's a, a very simple piece of tech that's not connected to the internet so no one can hack that specifically and okay. the only way they can hack that is if they take your device and and find the chip and try hack it in a specific way but by the time you realize your ledger's gone you take your phrases you take your 24 phrases you get your crypto back 
um, before they take it and then you put on a different wallet. And that's only in the case if they take your ledger and they're very well hacker. But online, they can't. And, but the issue of the exchanges are if it goes under, you've, there's a lot of sort of debate on what exchanges are here to stay. If you keep your crypto on exchanges, it's it's not yours. So if you put it on your ledger, then it is, and it can't be hacked. It, it's easier to hack your bank account than it is to put, hack a ledger. So Okay. Uh, on that point, because I've got, I mean, at the moment, I've got some BSV and I'm about to, but I am. From what you've just said, you've enlightened me. You've enlightened me there and you've enlightened 60% of our audience, which is incredible, really, that that many people didn't know. So there we go. That was Ali Tizro, one of our members on our show, giving us information about Bitcoin. Did you know there were so many forks of Bitcoin? We ran a poll here today and 66% said no. These are guys who are investing in crypto like myself. Not so much right now. I've got out of most of mine, but 66% had no idea there were so many forks of Bitcoin. I think we've learned a lot today from our member Ali Tisro. We appreciate him calling in as we do all our members. Thank you very much indeed. See you back here live as we are live every day here on The Day Trader. Take care of yourselves and each other.